All right, a lot of folks have asked me about zero factorial and why it equals one and not zero. And the simplest way of visualizing that is that factorials represent how many permutations a set of items can have. Like if I have three cards and I wonder how many different orders could they be put in? The answer is three factorial, three times two times one. And if I asked how many ways could I order zero cards? Well, there's sort of one way, which is not having any cards. And it also makes sense that we're going to have one as the zeroth element of a multiplicative function like the factorials, because one is the identity element of multiplication, the element that doesn't change things.